In this video, I'm going to share a framework of five steps you can use to escape tutorial hell. Hi everyone, my name is Mehul and in this video, I want to share a very common thing which happens with most of the developers is when you're stuck with tutorial hell. Let's start. All right, so before we start, let's take a look at what tutorial hell actually means according to my definition of this video. So tutorial hell is a place where when you're stuck, you just keep on watching videos of tutorials. You just are stuck into one video after another, one video, one course after another, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on any other website, whether it's free, paid, and you are not able to use that information in the real world. It's different to be stuck and just watch and binge watch. It's different to just watch and not be able to use it in your real projects. The second part where you watch and you are not able to use it in your real projects, in your real world, you go back to your local setup and you're blank. That is something which I think is tutorial hell for you. So here is my five step framework for you to escape this tutorial hell. Let's start. Step number one, realize that you are in fact in a tutorial hell. A lot of times it might seem like you are in tutorial hell, whereas you're just watching or getting the knowledge of the concept. You might feel that you are not able to use a particular thing or a particular concept. That is not tutorial hell. Tutorial hell means that you have seen a conceptual video. You have learned about a particular concept from a video multiple times in some cases and you're still not able to use that in your code base. If you're trying to escape the videos altogether, that's not tutorial hell. So realize if you are in tutorial hell, that means let's say you have watched three or four JavaScript courses and you're still not able to create a basic calculator app with JavaScript as well. If that is the case, then you might be stuck in tutorial hell. All right, so once you realize that you're in tutorial hell, that's good because now we can fix that. If you're not in tutorial hell, if you're in the learning phase, then that's also good. I mean, just give it some time and it might just happen that you get to know things a bit better and things start clicking in and you just start creating projects or, you know, just start implementing stuff. So that's good. Step number two, once you realize that you're in tutorial hell, stop watching videos immediately. I mean, this might sound weird, but you could pretty much learn so much from documentation, from blogs, from here and there, and from doing as well, which is the most important thing that we turn the situation upside down, that is, we start doing instead of just watching. So what I want you to do in step number two is this should be your last video. If you're stuck in tutorial hell, close this video, close YouTube after watching this video and start doing. And we'll discuss what that is in step three. So don't just close the video yet. If you are added, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel as, as your last activity on YouTube as well. But anyway, the step two is to stop watching any course, any video, everything all together. The end. Step number three. Think of a project idea. Now this depends on what field you are in, whether you are in web development, mobile application development, and so on. But we'll stick with web dev because I think most of my audience is that. So if you are a web developer or if you're trying to become one, think of a project involving front-end or back-end or full stack, whatever you're learning. If you're learning just HTML, CSS, JavaScript, that is the front-end part. Think of some application, think of some game. You can use that one hour to research different people ideas. It should not be unique, it need not be unique. Your idea should, can be a copy or can be an inspiration from someone else, but it should be a well-formed idea. It should not be just, you know, a login app or a dashboard. No, just make sure you have an idea which you can execute. It's well-formed. You have written, written down the user stories. User stories basically means what should happen if a user visits some part of your application. That means a user should be able to log in. A user should see something in dashboard. A user should be able to create a new account. A user should be able to send a friend request to someone else and so on. So this is basically just saying that write a specification of your project, of the thing which you want to work on. Once you do that, you can say that you have an idea. Now, one important thing about this idea is try to make it at least as complex as the things which you feel you have already seen in the videos, but don't necessarily know how to implement them. Now, the reason for this is because it exists somewhere in your brain, right? That means, I mean, if you're doing web development, it makes sense to just start with a front end project. I'm just saying that don't get too ambitious in the sense that you're learning about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you just took up a project, which is a live chat API, which involves web sockets and servers and all that stuff, right? Because for that, you will also need to learn about backend. So keep your goals or keep your project idea in this case towards the idea, which you know you should have known by now how to do, 
but you still don't right and in most of the cases it could be a simple game it could be a utility app it could be anything small or mid-sized if you want right nothing too complex and nothing too simple as well step number four at this point start your project just create a new folder on your computer initialize a react app create react app whatever you're using and start just start write the first line of code create whatever comes to your mind whether it's a header whether it's a footer whether it's just a welcome message any sort of layout in your mind just start trust me don't watch another video another blog anything just start creating the fundamental basic part of the page you will get stuck right maybe you get stuck even on the fact how do you center a button google it google your problem as you're creating because you already have the user story written, right? You have written that the user should be able to log in. That means the user should also be able to see a button called login. That means that button should be at the top right somewhere. That means you have to position that properly. So how do you move all the elements on the right in a flex box or whatever you're using? Google it. Learn from building. Learn by building what you're doing. You have the project idea. You have how the description of the project should look like, how the user story should look like. You know how the flow should happen. Therefore, you should be working towards and you know, you will struggle. It's not like you would just be very open openly and you will be able to code because if you were, then you were not stuck in tutorial hell. You will struggle, but that's fine. That's the part of the process. But please, at this point, the first thing you have to do after thinking the idea is just start. Don't wait for anything else. Here again, I would recommend and highly recommend if even if you are watching out for any help, like centering a button, fixing that layout, how to change the color and so on. Google them all, but do not open any YouTube video or any video as a matter of fact, because you are coming out of an addiction, right? Tutorial hell can also be categorized as an addiction where you're just stuck watching videos and you just feel like you need one more video to learn, one more video to learn and so on. But that's not the point because we have already watched a lot of videos and we know that you don't get the knowledge transfer from videos, at least right now, not right now, right? So what you want to do instead is focus more on the written part of content, whether it's that's documentation, whether that's blogs, whether that's Q&A on Stack Overflow, Reddit, so on. So that's basically the crux of it. The fourth step is super important that you do not watch another one video, any one more video. Stick to the project. You have your project idea. You have the what you need to create and just start working towards that. And step five is build it and get feedback from others. Now, this is the time when you ship the V1 of your project it's time to share that link, that resource, that code to somebody you can trust, right? It could be your mentor, it could be your fellow students, batchmates, whoever it is. Just send them a link and see how you can improve. Even if you were not able to build the full project, it's helpful to get an help from somebody who's human, right? And, you know, can answer to you one on one. Once you complete a project like this, you will have an immense boost in confidence and that is all you need. I mean, tutorial hell escape only requires you confidence that you can do something because most likely you already have the knowledge because you have watched videos. All you need is a little bit of structure in that knowledge and confidence. This gives you confidence and the step three, which is debugging and learning about how you have to build the idea. And step four is how you actually build the project will give you that knowledge part. Follow these five steps of this framework of getting out of tutorial hell. And I hope you will be out of that in a few weeks, if not days. While we are at the topic of tutorial hell, did I tell you the way we have structured CodeDAM is to exactly avoid that? CodeDAM allows you to learn full stack web development by actually practicing what you're learning as well right and there when you're learning that. This is important because unlike a traditional course, a video course, you would not be stuck in only watching videos, but also have real world challenges to complete, projects to build, and labs to finish as you are progressing towards becoming a full stack developer. I'm launching the full stack developer course this month and you can get it right now at a heavy discounted rate. So if you're interested in becoming a full stack developer, make sure you check the links in the description. You will find all the offer links and all the required information there. That is all for this video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon.